Well, hello there, YouTube subscribers. Today we've got a little project that is going to involve drilling a hole through some concrete uh, masonry, that is the stem wall of the foundation of the house here. And what we're going to do is we're going to enlarge a hole that's already there so that I can fit an HDMI cable through it. It currently has a coax cable through it, and it's probably about 3 eighths or thereabouts, and we're going to extend, expand it to an inch so that I can put an HDMI cable from my cable box, which is in the garage here, out to a TV that I have on the patio. Kind of been getting by with just analog quality via the coax cable. Thought it was time to upgrade to HDMI so I can get the full, full uh, benefit of the TV out there. So hold on here, we're going to show you what we've got to do. All right, right there is the uh, TV that's inside the garage, and the cable box is right there. And over here on the other side of the refrigerator are some cabinets, and this little cubby hole down here is where I store my standby generator. And right there, you can see where the coax comes from behind the refrigerator and the TV and goes outside. And right there is where it comes through the wall, onto the patio, and then just snakes its way over to the TV right here. That's Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to enlarge that hole there using a one inch masonry bit with my Milwaukee rotary hammer to enlarge that enough to get a HDMI cable through it. Alright, here I've got my Milwaukee rotary hammer. I picked this thing up at a yard sale several years ago for virtually free. I think I, think I paid five bucks for it, ten bucks maybe. And um, it actually did work, but not for very long. And so I put it up in the shop, thought, well, that was a bad investment. And then I kind of thought, looking at it, I thought, well, I'll, I knew it had a lot of hard use, so I took it all apart, cleaned it up, and I found out what the problem is, is the spiral at the end of the armature was wore out, and it would barely engage, and if it did engage, it wouldn't stay engaged very long. So I embarked on a web search to try to find a replaceable replacement armature, and I found out that this particular model which is a little bit older, had the spiral going one way and the ones that you could buy as a replacement part had the spiral going the other way. Didn't know that at first. Bought the one with the spiral going, I can't remember if it was clockwise or counterclockwise. Got it in here, couldn't put it back together. Dawned on me that the armature was wrong. So I had to send that back, embarked on, a, on another mission to find the right one. And believe it or not, I found after hours of web searching, I finally found an armature in, believe it or not, Trinidad and Tobago in the Caribbean. And it cost me, I think, with shipping and everything, I think I paid a hundred bucks, something on that order, to have it delivered here, and it was the right one. So I've probably got a hundred and ten dollars tied up in this machine, not accounting my labor. And don't use it that much, but when you do need this bad boy, it is awesome. So we're going to go ahead Take the inch bit that I've got, I've also got a half inch bit for this, and we're going to get an extension cord out there, let's go drill the hole. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and cut that fitting off, since it won't fit through that hole, it's kind of tight, push that on through there, got it set on hammer and drill. wall I think is about eight inches. So we're through there. This is the coax cable we're going to use. It's a 25 footer and hopefully hopefully I measured correctly because if it's too short we don't have a cable stretcher. So let's go ahead and we'll leave the caps on and we'll stuff that start stuffing that through there. I had a couple cable ties to organize these cables in there, so I had to remove the refrigerator 
pull it out in order to get back there and cut those cable ties and then just we were able to just pull this up with the uh, with the coax stables we planned so now we've got to go out and make sure we've got another enough slack on the other end to connect to the TV out there okay we were good out here got enough cable to get it up there almost the right that's pretty darn good guess okay we've got this all hooked up it makes all the difference in the world it's much clearer this is awesome so now what we've got to do is we've got to do a little cleanup and I've got to put some putty of some sort in that hole to keep the critters out doing this got me motivated to clean all those wires up so we're going to do that before we wrap up this project that is a mess now one of the things I did have to put in here was an HDMI splitter because the cable box the cable box only has one HDMI uh, out so had to do that to then split it to the TV here to this TV and then to the one out on the patio which is this cable here so we're gonna get this all cleaned up and then we'll show you the final product not only not only are we going to fix this mess of wires back here but all this business back here needs some attention too so when we got all done this is all going to be cleaned up and look real nice well we have this a little cleaned up now um, looks a lot better not nearly as many dangling and unnecessary wires and one of the things I did is I put an electrical box right there with four outlets and ran it over to a plug that's behind the cabinet there which is what I was coming off of before anyway and organized all the cables I was able to trim these cable I had a lot of extra cable because those cables that go up that way go up and out into a conduit out to my shed about a hundred feet away from here and the, some of the others regard the speakers so I've just kind of organized it all. I had some excess cable. I had some connections, some joints that I took those out and ran home runs. So we're ready to put the refrigerator back and then make the final connections into the receiver and the cable box. One little trick I use to help manage cables in situations like this is I use a piece of PVC, just cut off a section, and then I put a slot in it. Take my band so you can see right there, there's a slot that goes on the bottom there and uh, cut a little slot to allow us to, to put these wires in there and then drill a hole large enough here to allow a screwdriver to get in there and put a screw in and I've used a couple of those so those work uh, work pretty well there's a little better view here of how they work so that's a pretty good little solution when you need to manage a whole bunch of cables got this area here cleaned up it looks pretty good again what I did is I took a few things out of there I had more junk in there than what I really needed and shortened up some of the wires and put some cable ties around them to uh, manage them a little bit better so that looks real good happy with how this turned out all right we got everything back together here I still I still need to find something to plug up that hole but we're pretty well done really happy how this turned out got nice uh, HD 1080p out here on this TV now makes all the difference in the world too bad the market isn't doing any better today but uh, anyway hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to comment, subscribe, and hit the like button.